What's up everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters. I'm Carolina Hitman and we have another neck configure to review for you today and it's another piece from the Aliens 30th Anniversary Collection and we have the Xenomorph Warrior Battle Damaged. Just from looking inside the package, I cannot wait to crack this bad boy up and show y'all close-ups of it because it looks really good. But of course, you know I like to show y'all a little bit of um, artwork on the box. It's pretty standard, but I do like the side where you can see one of the Marines is down and falling. And it gives you a, um, a picture of the battle damaged Xenomorph. Then we have a little battle scene going on right here. It's like two Marines backed up against the wall, blasting away. And um, gives a little detailed information right here about the movie itself, you know, about Ripley being the sole survivor and in cry cryogenic sleep for 57 years, which is a long time to be taking a nap. <laughs> but um, it's got other parts of the series right here, another Ripley figure, uh, Vasquez, and another battle damaged Xenomorph. And switch it over to this side where you can get each different parts right here. You got the little Xenomorph acid blood. Um, pretty good artwork as far as the box is concerned. And like I said, NECA always does a good job in the packages and artwork. That's one of the highlights of the collections. But um, I think that's enough of the opening. Let's crack this one open and see what it's all about and give you all a good close up. So everybody, we got this thing out the box now. So you can give you a good look at the figure itself. I love the blue highlighting and weathering on the Xenomorph itself. Really good paint application. Right. Plus I'm gonna give you a very good close up of the Xenomorphs with the battle damage. I do love the way this looks. You can see the top of the head right here where it's getting blown off and even got the extendable mandible jaw right here. I love the way it looks. This, this is a lot of detail for a regular piece, you know, just a regular action figure. This is a lot of detail in this. Um, a lot of uh, articulation as well. We got a lot of points of articulation as far as the, the toes right here, the foot itself, pretty good articulation. Again, ball joint right there, three, three, 360 degrees, both sides. No, yeah, sorry, stuttering a little bit this morning, <laughs> but um, good articulation all around. And just like most NECA figures I've been reviewing, we got two double jointed knees, right? One right here, and then one right here. So gives you a lot more um, options when you're posing it. Of course, same thing on this side, and the, even the hands, they have uh, claws that move right here, as you can see both sides of course oh no no uh, here we go there we go so both sides have the ability to move the claws a little bit right here and of course the wrists they turn even the elbows you know so like i said a lot of a lot of articulation in this figure on both sides it's a little stiff because it's brand new but you can open them pretty wide out and rotate them 360 degrees but i'd watch it because of the the battle damage right here where the Xenomorph is getting shot in the, in the chest. One of the main things I do love about the aliens is there is you're able to pose, I guess there's a wire inside of here, inside the tail itself. So you're able to pose it pretty good, you know, and of course it 360 degrees, sorry, bump the camera, 360 degrees right here. And it's able to pose pretty good and it, the wire inside allows it to stay. So, you know, like some, some plastic figures, when you, when you pose it, it has a habit of just slowly going back to the shape that it was before. Not these, there's whatever, however you pose it, whatever way you want to pose it, it stays just like that. Uh, of course, the legs, right here, good motion, right, good range of motion. Both sides, and even the waist, oh, good range of motion right here. You can even see that holes and everything. You know how H H H uh, Geiger, how he made his um how, made, how he made the xenomorphs. So it's good to see all the little detail. You know the ridges and and the hoses right here. I mean they did put a lot of detail on these figures. 
especially the alien ones, which I really, um, really appreciate. Even the little hoses right here. So they put a little bit, the head can't move as much as the rest and I'm not going to try and force it and break it. But like I said, this is a very, very detailed piece. And I can't wait to pose it, which I'm going to show some pictures eventually when I set, get my setup because you see all the alien figures I'm getting and Predator ones. So I'm going to pose them and everything and hopefully make a video of my collection once it's all, I'm all set and done. But like I said before, this is a really good piece. Like I said, the paint application, the posability, the articulation. And then, like I said, just the amount of detail in the skull itself where it's getting blown off, I would assume, from a shotgun blast. So, I mean, it's, the detail on this is amazing. Give you all a good ones over. So, like I said, I've shown you all the points of articulation and everything. And like I said, this is an amazing piece and a good, a good addition to any alien or NECA collector's collection. But, I mean, there's not much to talk about today, everybody. You know, it's a pretty straightforward Xenomorph figure. But um, I appreciate you joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell for notification to get notified of our future videos. But I'm Carolina Hitman and I appreciate you doing a crack of hundreds today. I'll see y'all next time. Look out for my next reviews. Uh, well, I guess that's it. So, peace.